Now what is up my fellow prod coders? Welcome to this video and today we will start working on connecting our application to the Yelp API. So let's go to our code editor and let's just add a new folder and let's call it hooks. Oops. And inside this hooks folder add another folder and call it Yelp API. And in the previous tutorial you saw that we had to uh, pass along this beer token over here and uh, so somehow we need some configuration for our um, yeah for calling the Yelp API so let's create a config.js file and inside this config.js file we need two things so for one we need this um, part here like the base URL so I'm just going to call that export const api url or maybe call it api base url it's maybe better and then we will just oops why is it not copying this i copied it <laughs> ah, no i have it okay uh, anyway so i'm just going to copy this one and apart from that let's undo this Apart from that, we also somehow need to make the request with this bureau token. And here's a little problem. So this tutorial or like this series here is supposed to be a tutorial and you would never ever ever like put a bureau token inside your front end code. Why? Well, because if you put it inside your front end code, anyone can just inspect your code and just steal the token and then make requests on your behalf so we need to write a server which will then make a request to the yelp server and then our front end calls our own server and then we don't expose the bureau token now theoretically we could do that right <laughs> but then the scope of this tutorial like doubles so that's why i would just say for like running on local host we can actually put a variable here and call it uh, bira token and this bira token uh, we can just take the token that we have from the yelp api and now here's really the warning again like do not do this like in production. So if you have a bureau token in the project right here, then the project is not production ready yet. So if there's enough interest, I will continue the series and like create a server. And then the server is going to call the Yelp API. So this bureau token is somehow hidden from the front end. Um, but for simplicity reasons, uh, let's just go with down this path. And another thing is, don't commit this to source control like this token at all so right now if we have as long so long as we have this token in here the application can pretty much be only run on localhost because otherwise you would expose important information and by the way i think i've said it now three times <laughs> like don't use it in production and i also don't want to teach you like bad habits or anything uh, I, I just want to like have a focus on like the front end tutorial because this is a front end tutorial and uh, that's why let's not do everything at once uh, let's first do it like this um, let's just make sure that our application runs and later on when we think it's fine then we can still develop a server which will hide the bureau token but i'm going to put a note here <laughs> because otherwise people think i don't know that a bureau token is never supposed to be exposed to the outside world so remove this uh, token note um, as long as uh, this token saved in the front end the application is not production ready or production ready the bureau token uh, the bureau token must be used on an own on a server whose uh, inner workings are not to 
pose to the outside world for the sake for simplicity and simplicity and the sake of this tutorial uh, I'll just leave it in here here like this uh, but just be in mind right ne never ever run an application with uh, never run a front-end application with a bureau token never ever uh, save a bureau token inside the front-end code okay and I'm going to make this all caps okay so and that's also one reason why I say don't deploy the application like this. Like in general, you should not deploy it at all because it's just a tutorial and this entire application like Yelp is its own brand. So you should not attempt to create like any competitor of some form. It's just for your own education. It's just for you to run localhost with this bureau token. And if there's enough interest, we will of course create a server and then this application would be production ready. Nice. So that was a pretty long talk, but I just wanted to make it super, super clear um, that this should not be done. And I don't want to teach you like bad habits here. I just want to make sure that we have a good focus on the front end and later on we can move on. Nice. So now that we have this token, uh, let's create another file and let's call this api.js. And one thing here is important. So you saw that we're making a get request to this server here. And we always need to include this token inside our header. So it makes sense to write a wrapper, which automatically uh, puts in like the tokens so that we don't have to do it every single time. So let's import API base URL and beer Beer token from our config. And there's another thing we need. We will need something, a new package, something called query string. And I'm going to show you why. So let's create a function. Let's call it get. And this will have two parameters like the path. So in our case, it would be slash businesses slash search and the query parameters. So in our case, this would be uh, location and burgers. And what we want to do is we want to be able to pass an object. Also, so something like term uh, burgers and location equals uh, Berlin. And then we want to create a query string out of it. So in this case, it would be term equals burgers and location equals Berlin. And again, we still have this URL and cape, uh, escape thing. So query string will take care of that. So if you have something like New York, it would actually be, it would actually return something like this. So percent 20 instead of space. And it will also like replace all kinds of other uh, yeah, edge cases. So let's Maybe first import a query string uh, package. And then we just say, okay, query equals query string dot stringify query, query params. Okay, so now we have our query string and now we can just use the good old fetch API. So we will use string interpolation here and we can say API base URL and then uh, path and then question mark and then our query. And we also need a couple of additional parameters. So remember that we always have to put in this uh, authorization. We need to put something here and um, 
let's just put an origin as well you'll soon see why and also we need a flag called with credentials so this with credentials is super important because what this says is uh, normally the browser doesn't send along like authorization headers um, to other origins so we're currently running on localhost uh, 3000 and if we make a call to the yelp api then per default the browser is not going to send this uh, authorization headers along just for security reasons and that's why we need to tell it explicitly to do so and we have another thing or like another important thing so in our um, in our postman uh, we just saw that we can select it or that we need to select the type of author authorization and um, what is actually being sent along is if you go to the MDN uh, documentation about the authorization header you have the type you have a space and then the actual token so this is really important it's not sufficient to just send a token you also need to say what kind of token it is and in our case it's a bureau token and that's why we need to put bureau space and then our bureau token yes and this is how we can make a get request to our yelp api again like the thing uh, don't put the bureau token uh, into applications you want to deploy to production i know this channel is called production coder somehow ironic but let's first <laughs> build the things out step by step okay let's make our front end work and later on we take care of the back end so thank you very much for watching um, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and um, also, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as another reminder, I set up an email list where you guys can decide on what we're going to do next on this channel. So if you have any idea, any suggestion, um, you can sign up for this list and I'm going to send a poll around and then we will see what happens. And if a lot of people want to see a specific project, then I will see what I can do. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, Please subscribe, subscribe to the channel and I hope to see a lot of you in the next video.